So we're in Spain and we're on a Targa 38 and this morning I'm going to try and find out what's wrong with uh, the air conditioning unit on this boat as it has an HPF fault coming up on the air conditioning control unit. So there it is and it says on the air conditioning control unit HPF which is high pressure fault. So now we set about trying to find out what the reasons for that are. And the first thing is we do is we check the uh, sea strainer for the cooling going through to the uh, air condition unit. Okay, before you do this, make sure you've switched off your main supply on your switchboard. And to be doubly safe, just pull out your ship to shore power. So this is the strainer which I need to have a look at. This is the one which is coming from uh, uh, the sump or the hull of the boat and uh, sucking up the water to the, the pump which is down there. Actually it's not sucking up the water. It's taking the water in and obviously it's uh, uh, filtering it before it goes to the pump which is there and uh, pushing it through the system. So the first thing first is I need to find out if indeed the strainer is blocked, uh, i.e. it's dirty. And uh, if that isn't the case, then I'm going to stick uh, a hose pipe through here, through this hose, that hose there. So it's gonna go in here, I take this off and put the hose pipe through to this pipe here, switch the hose pipe on, and then it will go straight through the pump and hopefully bleed out any air which is in the system. So the first thing we need to do is turn off our stop clock to the strainer. So now I'm taking off the strainer cap. Take off the strainer cap and be careful not to dislodge the perspex cover on the top and drop that in the bilge. There's the cap. And take out the strainer and have a look at the strainer. Well, the strainer looks pretty clean actually. And I don't think there's much wrong with that. So what I'm gonna do is flush it through with uh, fresh water so I rig up the hose now and show you how to do that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is stick the hose pipe in through this hole here, which is the outlet to the water pump. And I'm gonna stick the hose pipe in there, switch the hose pipe on to bleed any air out of the system, just in case there's an airlock. Okay, the hose is right up to the mouth of the pump now, and I'm going to push the rag over the end to create a seal. And at this point, I'm gonna ask somebody to turn on the hose pipe. Okay, turn on the pipe. So the water is on, and it's hopefully going through the system getting any air locks out. Can you see the water coming out, Jeff? And uh, I've just been told that the water is coming out of the side of the boat through the exit port of the air conditioning pump going straight into the sea. So it's done its trick. I've now bled everything through. Okay, turn the water off. At this point, I want to be quick and get the cap on quick and the strainer in so I don't let any air back in the system. That's the strainer over. Cap on with the perspex top. So now, we simply switch on the air condition and see if our code fault has gone. 
So now I've uh, switched on my 220 volt from the pontoon. I switch on all my breakers and the air conditioning in terms of the pump and seawater pump, both forward and aft. And now it's the moment of truth. Let's see if she's going to work. So turn her on. And just heard the compressor come on. And yes, problem solved, it's working.